Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Almine, better known as Daiki Almine on TikTok. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to dribble like Kyrie in gym class VR. Just before this video starts, I want to say 95% of you are not subscribed to the channel. It's just one button. I will appreciate it so much if you just click it. I had a goal to get to 150 subscribers before the end of February, but we're already on 180 subscribers and we're still in January right now, which is so crazy to me. So I just want to thank you all. My new goal is 200 subscribers by the end of February. I know we can do it, but if we get it too quick, 250 subscribers by the end of February. I know that's a lot of me to ask but I know we can do it. So please help me get to that goal, it will mean a lot to me. Just to make this clear, this isn't a video on how to just dribble, this is a video on how to dribble like the likes of Kyrie or Steph Curry or really good dribblers in the NBA. My first tip is always dribble at your hips. I see a lot of people, especially when they're short, they will crouch down and dribble like this, and I know their hips is not this low. Dribble always at your hips, so bring it down, and pick it up when it's hip level, this is hip level for me. So I dribble like this all the time. This will help you do more moves such as a crossover because if you're dribbling really low, it's kind of hard to cross over and you're not gonna really take people's ankles. Whereas if I'm dribbling really high like this on my hip and I go to crossover, it's easier because if the ball is higher, I have more time to move the ball and it will take your opponent's ankles really easily. Plus this will improve your dribbling so much because if you dribble too high like this, you could lose control of the ball like that. Or if you dribble too low, sometimes the ball can do exactly that. If I'm gonna drop my body, I'll drop the ball with it. So I'm still dribbling at hit level. This is hip level right now for me. Even if I stand up, I'm gonna keep at a hip level, just like that. So yeah, if I was you, practice this all the time, especially if you dribble too high or too low, this will really improve your game so much. My next tip is don't dribble when it's unnecessary. I see a lot of people doing 360s for no reason or step backs for no reason or really big moves, but they don't go nowhere. If you wanna do all these big moves, like a huge crossover or a 360, make sure you're gonna end somewhere at the end. So I don't want you to do this randomly because I'm still here. But if you go forward and 360, I'm here. I went from here to here really quick, especially with the crossover as well. I see people going like this in the crossover, but they're still here. If you do that and go left like this, it helps so much, especially if you want to drive to the basket and create space as well, because you can cross over like this and step back like that. But if you cross over like this, go nowhere and step back, your opponent can just walk forward. Whereas if you do the crossover and go this way, you have to move this way, then that way. So it will be really easy for your opponent to keep up with you if you're just doing dribbles unnecessary, if you're doing this, cross over this way, then cross over that way. But if I do the exact same thing, except I move so I can go this way and cross over this way, then cross over this way, I'm here now. Instead of staying there and doing nothing with the ball, I'm over here. It'll be really hard for your opponents to catch up with you and even so I can go this way again and lay it up or dunk it. So if you don't do this already, practice it a lot in either GM or solo practice. Just dribble while moving like this, this way, 360 this way, bring it back. If you do this, it will make you a much better dribbler and a much better gym class player. My next tip is don't repeat the same moves. If you use the same dribble moves over and over again, your opponents are slowly gonna catch up and be able to block you or stop you. So let's just say you do a 360 and then pull the ball back. And then maybe you can just dribble over here and do something. And do a 360 and pull the ball back again. Your opponent is probably gonna think, okay, he likes doing that 360 pull back. So next time I do that, 360 and pull the ball back and I go for a shot, you're most likely gonna get blocked. So try practicing your own court, different dribble moves to do five different dribble moves in a row. So I can go between the legs, step back, 360, pull the ball back, over here, crossover, or over here, crossover again. If you just mix all these moves up, your opponent isn't gonna be able to keep up and it's definitely gonna break ankles and let you get closer to the basket and score your points. This one is aimed at a lot of people that wanna finish at the rim and that is B dominant i say this because i have seen a lot of really really brilliant dribblers but as soon as they get into the paint they will step back like this and then they'll start dribbling again really good go into the paint and then step back and then keep going to the paint step back instead of bouncing the ball going this way dribbling like this and then stepping back why don't you bounce the ball go this way dribble this way and then lay it up 
just be dominant yes you will get blocked a lot when you do practice this for the first time but if you keep doing it and keep building more confidence then you'll figure out different ways to finish at the rim this next one is something you really really should practice and this is dribbling to a position you can shoot in the reason i say this is because i know a lot of people's hot zones are right on these two lines up here people kind of neglect this area over here and this area over there so if you practice maybe dribbling here crossing it over step back i even stand them right here ready to shoot this will help a lot it will help you get comfortable from going from a dribble into a shot easily because i know a lot of people may do really good dribbles like this and then they have to stop for a sec and then shoot or they'll do really good dribbles dribble like this and then shoot if you practice this a lot and become really, really confident to the point where you can bust out dribble moves and even 360 into a shot right here, this will make you a way better player because not only does it improve your dribbling, but it also improves your shooting as well since you're practicing shooting from different angles. Three dribble moves I would like you to practice. Crossover, between the legs, step back. You don't have to even shoot, but get used to getting in that shooting position. The second one I want you to practice is dribbling with your left hand, bring it between your legs, 360, and just get ready to shoot right here. Now the second one I would like you to do is a between the legs from your left hand into a hesitation to a crossover step back. From these three dribble moves, you don't need to shoot the ball, just get used to getting in that shooting position. If you're too off balance, so your legs are too wide apart or they're too close, then you've done it wrong. Just get used to finishing that dribble move and ready to shoot the ball. Okay, this next tip, I wouldn't recommend going straight into public matches and doing these, but practice, hear what I say, practice street ball moves. Back when I first started this game, I used to practice street ball moves a lot and this improved my dribbling so much. This helped me with ball control so the ball wasn't slipping out of my hands and it helped me with looking straight forward and knowing where the ball is without looking down. So moves I want you to practice is moves of the likes of 360 pullbacks like this between your opponent's legs and pull it back. This third one is kind of hard, but as you're 360, you'll push the ball like this and pull it back. In normal time, it looks like this. Mostly street ball moves are between the legs like this or really big crossovers like this and even change the speed of the dribbles. So if you can do a really fast crossover like this, then you've got really, really good ball control. This next tip is going to be quite short and this tip is don't hezzy too much. I see a lot of people, especially when they're behind the three point line and they just be hezzy, 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 hezzy. If you do that constantly, I'm going to know what your hezzy looks like and when you're going to do it. So try not to hezzy too much, hezzy a few times in the game, especially at the end of the game when you have to shoot a three, start implementing hezzies in because if you haven't hezzies that whole game, that guy's going to think, okay, he's going to shoot. But as soon as you hezzy, you can just dribble out. Try lower the amount you do as much as you can and it will make you a way better dribbler. Okay, this is the second to last tip and this is going to be some combos for you to practice. I'm going to give you three combos to practice for you to be able to dribble like Kyrie. This is going to include breaking somebody's ankles and finishing at the rim as well. The first one is going to be a between the legs, stationary crossover, and then a 360 this way. And then you're going to pump fake into a reverse layup. So this is what it'll look like in real time. This next one is going to be you driving towards the corner and doing a crossover, kind of a hesitation dribble. Then you're gonna cross over forward into a floater jump shot. This next one is gonna be quite hard, but if you can do it, put it in the comments down below and tell me you did the move. So this one is gonna be a between the legs, dribble over here. You wanna stop, look this way, dribble behind the back, and a 180 turn this way and when you do that dribble you want to stop go into a 360 and either dunk or lay the ball up i'm going to do both examples with a dunk and with a layup
So again, in your own time, practice these moves a lot when you're driving towards the rim and use these three moves in your game and I guarantee you will get buckets and break ankles. And this very, very last tip is watch videos of Kyrie and how he dribbles and handles the ball. In your own time, just look at clips on Kyrie on how he dribbles, such as this clip right here and this clip right here. So just practice a bunch of his dribble moves, either if you want to finish at the rim or shoot the ball. Just practice them and get used to them, and I promise you, if you follow all these steps in the video, you will be able to dribble like Kyrie. And of course, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please comment if this video helped your dribbling at all. Also, I want to say thank you so much for last video's support. We got 1,000 views in three days, only with, I think we had 150 subscribers, which is crazy to me, honestly. That meant a lot to me to wake up and see in three days it had 1,000 views. It made me really, really happy. Again, all my socials will be in the description down below, such as my Discord, Gym Classes Discord, my Instagram, and TikTok. Be sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.